Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. We haven't done a flashlight in a while, and this one is pretty cool. It's got a lot of different stuff to it, so I'm going to be using a lot of uh, the company's graphics from the website to make sure that I don't miss anything. It's just that many features to it. But this is the Claris X3 360. No, it's 360X3. I keep messing that up. So this is a pretty interesting light especially once we get back here and we see what all that's about so if you want to find out more about this and if it's something that you might be interested in don't go away Okay, this is something we in the industry refer to as a do-over. Yeah, if you're filming with your phone, make sure you lock it in landscape mode. Anyway, maybe I can do it faster this time anyway. So let's go through the features of this, and there's a lot of them. I'm going to focus on the key ones. The biggest thing about this light, which is interesting, is the tail cap switch design. So you've got the primary button and then you have the secondary 360 button. Now your primary button on this is going to be the brightest setting every time you press it. And you got momentary and you got forward clicky. The secondary is going to be one of two modes. So right now it is set to tactical strobe. No matter where you push on here, no matter how you're holding it, that's going to hit strobe. Now if you want to switch it to the other mode, you hold down this button and the 360 button at the same time. That switches the modes and now the 360 button is going to be low. And you can also hold it down and that will keep it momentary or it will keep it on then you can cycle through the modes using that button. You can also activate the light with this switch by holding it down and then cycling through the modes. When you turn on when you turn on the first time for a couple seconds this is going to light up and the different colors are going to tell you how much life you have left on the battery. You can double click for, for strobe, double click again for SOS. It has a recharge port, which is awesome. So I love USB rechargers, especially when it's old school, everybody has it micro USB. The main portion of the body of the light has a silicone overwrap, makes it a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so the LED on this is going to be a Cree XHP 70.2 P2 LED. So Cree's really getting out there with their LED names. It used to be so much easier. And the top brightness level on this is going to be 3200 lumens, so that's nice. It does have an orange peel reflector, so it's a little bit more spread out. It's not like a sharp, narrow beam. It's got a stainless steel strike bezel. It's got a one meter impact drop rating and IPX8, which is two meters submersed. It's got intelligent thermal protection system. So basically what that does is it monitors the internal temperature of the light. So if you're running it for a long time, it starts heating up, it's going to regulate the output of the light so your 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 flashlight doesn't overheat. You know it does all sorts of stuff checks the battery does this does that Ugh. comes with the battery all right let's talk uh, lumen levels in runtime so on turbo you've got your 3200 that's gonna run for 45 minutes you've got highest 400 that's gonna run for four hours 
Medium is 100. That's going to run for 16 hours. Low is 15. That's going to run for 82 hours. Strobe, 3200. So you're getting max brightness on the strobe, which a lot of times with strobes, they actually take that down a bit. But this one, you're getting your full brightness on the strobe, and that's for 1.5 hours. And then SOS mode, that is going to be 100 lumens, and it's going to be for 48 hours. As far as the beam distance on turbo, it, it uh, says 283 meters for the beam distance. I'm not going to bore you with any like the voltage and stuff like that. You know, the people that want that information are going to look on the website anyway. But overall, I mean, for a light like this, it's a tactical light. It's, I mean, not, some people will carry something like this in their pocket. It's a little bit big for an EDC light, but for a tactical slash outdoor light, this is a pretty cool light. I like that it's got the bigger bezel reflector. I really like the tail cap switch. To me, that's what sets this light apart. It's just the, the silicone with the nubs, it just makes it really easy to find it, real easy to hit the button every time. Having all the switches right there, really nice. Uh, it's always a win for me when you've got an included charge port on the light with micro USB. I don't like... I mean, I'll deal with it if the light's good, but I don't necessarily like proprietary chargers for flashlights. Because if you don't have that, there goes your recharging capability, and you pretty much have to take the battery out. When I'm at home, I'm going to take the battery out anyway and charge it, so no problems there. But yeah, I mean, generally speaking, for the bigger lights, right around this size is about as big as I want to go. It's not quite as wide as a couple of the 26650 lights that I like, because this is an 18650 light. But it's not too big, it's not too small. Runs about upper 90s for this. Is it something everybody's going to want or need? No, nothing is. It really depends on what you're looking for, what you want, how much you want to spend, and what you need the light to do. I'm just here to kind of highlight it and tell you about it and see what I think. And I will say, I've liked, how many, I think I've done two other Clarises before. And I like them both, but this one is by far the best one in my opinion. And the other one, geez, which one was that? I forget the... Uh, which one it was off the top of my head. I don't do well with these lots of numbers for, for names. But it was a nice tactical light, but it also had this proprietary magnetic charger, which was also a flashlight in itself. And that's cool and all, but if it, it's one of those, this is one of those if it ain't broke, don't fix it sort of things. Simple charge port, micro USB, available. Just everyone's got one of those. I mean, even the Apple people have micro USB cables because they've got other devices, and that's you know micro USBs are everywhere. So you're not gonna have any problem charging your lights um, in a pinch. So I've been using this one for about three weeks. I do not do drop tests anymore. It's just intentionally abu abusing a flashlight, and I just know that. If one survives, it doesn't mean everyone ever will survive. And if one breaks, it doesn't mean all of them are going to break. So all I'm really doing is messing up a perfectly good flashlight. You want to get one and throw it against concrete, you go right ahead. Uh, I find that most of these flashlight companies seem to be pretty consistent when it comes to flashlight survivability, drops, and things like that. There's nothing that like stands out like that one always. Well, you drop it and it's done. No, this is this is a really cool light, and I really hope that they do more lights with that tail cap switch because that thing is great.
All right, we're outside. We're going to test out this Claris. Of course, I've been using it. But when we depress the main switch, it's going to go straight to its brightest setting. And right now it's in tactical mode, so the secondary switch is going to take it straight to turbo. And then we will switch it. Using the secondary switch. Now with the light on. So there's your low mode. Back to high, medium, low. So once you have it switched over to hunting mode, I think it was called, or something like that, outdoor mode, that secondary switch, turn this on so you can see it, that secondary switch gives you instant momentary low, hold it down for a couple seconds, it stays on, and then you can cycle it up. Pretty cool light. Really like this tail cap switch. So what it comes down to is, is this something that's going to be good for you personally? And I'm sure a bunch of you are already telling me that it is or isn't. Well, it's a bit, let's break it down. It is larger than your average EDC light. It is very tactical. The configuration it comes out of the box with is instant high, instant strobe. So it's good in that regard. And also it is weapon mountable if, if that's something that you're looking for. Uh, I like it. Uh, but like again, not everybody wants or needs a $100 flashlight. So I'm not telling you that you do. But some people have no problem with that. Especially when you start getting into bigger lights that do more and are brighter and are well made. So it's kind of up to you. Do I like the light? Yes, I like the light. Cause, no surprise, I generally don't review things that I don't like. I have gotten lights before that you never heard of. Because I'm like, this don't like this at all. So I just don't waste anybody's time with this. But this one, yeah. So I looked online to see, now I, I did receive this from Claris, you know, disclaimer. Uh, first time I ever did that. But, uh... Yeah, I looked online to see who sells this. I know DLT carried Claris's, but they didn't carry this model. So next stop, I went to Amazon. And of course, Amazon did have it. So I just went ahead and added it to the Prepared Mind 101 Amazon page. So that'll help support the channel if this is something that you're looking for. So that, that's it. It's one of those niche flashlights that has features that not everybody needs. Not everybody wants to pay for but it does what it does very well, and I think people that are looking for this type of light will be happy with it. So that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Check all the links down below. Help support the channel and links to the sponsors. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then. And, and if people are freaking out about this, I'm, I'm trying something new with the filming, and I'm not used to where the freaking lens is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do what Will does and use my phone. And it's like, wait, is the lens on this side, that side? Do I look here? Do I look there? So, yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's kind of screwing me up. All right, so sorry about that.